Oh my gosh, you guys, I have some exciting news. I think we might be having some turkeys hatching. You guys that have been watching my videos know the struggle that we've been having trying to get some turkeys to hatch. And so the story is kind of probably old to you guys, but I'm going to retell it anyway because I'm so excited. First, I'm going to sit down though because my foot is killing me. As you know, last week was our county fair and so we were super duper busy with that. Okay, well on Friday, Sweet Pea, which is Miley's goat, um, was kind of stressed out and not eating really well and all of that, so we decided to bring her home. So Michael brought her home Friday night. He went ahead and did the chores and decided to go back into town and uh, spend the night with the rest of us at Dylan's apartment. And so that's what we did. And so Saturday morning, Brooke woke up and discovered that she didn't bring enough clothes with her. And so she decided to run home real quick and shower and change. And she said while she was home, she'd go ahead and do the chores. So when she came home she, and she was out there doing the chores, she discovered that two turkey poults had hatched. Well, she wasn't sure what to do with them. So she had just decided to go ahead and put a waterer in there so they could reach the waterer and um, go ahead and leave them with a hen because she had figured since it was Saturday and it was the last day of the fair that once we came home um, we could decide whether we wanted to pull them off the hen and put them in the brooder or leave them with a hen. So Saturday night came and um, Michael loaded up the animals and came on home and then I hung around at the fair a little bit longer with the kids. And then I had decided just to go ahead and stay one more night at Dylan's place. Anyway, to make a long story short, when I got home Sunday morning, Michael said he had ran out there to do chores and the two turkey poults were gone. They were just missing. We were sick. Um, we assumed that some kind of predator got them. Probably our cats, more than likely. It was so disappointing because we've been trying so hard to hatch some turkeys. And so Sunday afternoon I got to thinking and wondering about those six eggs that were still left in the turkey's nest because um, those, some of those eggs could possibly still have live embryos in them. I knew it was kind of a long shot because the hen had been off the nest for like probably a day or longer. But it had been really, really hot out. So I thought, well, they probably could, wouldn't have gotten too cold or anything. So Sunday afternoon, I went ahead and plugged in the incubator and got it going and waited several hours for it to get up to temp and all of that. And then about dusk Sunday evening, I went out and got those six eggs and brought them in. And I went ahead and candled them. There was one that was obviously not fertile. There were two that I couldn't see through. And then there was three, and I could actually see the turkeys moving around in them. And it was really, really cool because when I was candling them, I actually saw one of the turkeys kick the side of the egg, and I actually felt it kick it. I felt a little tap. It was really, really cool. And so anyway, I put them in the incubator, and today they're actually starting to hatch. There's one egg that's got a small hole pecked in it, and then there's another egg that's really been moving around a lot. And um, we've heard little peeps. I mean, I'm just so excited. I know we still got a long ways to go because they've still got to get out of the eggs alive, but I'm gonna knock on some wood here. Then everything goes smoothly and we end up with some turkeys. I will definitely keep you updated. Um, I know this video is short, but I just, I'm so excited. I just had to tell somebody, so I decided to tell you guys because I know you guys have been following along. Well, I'm going to let you go for now because I, there is a lot of garden work that I want to get done this evening yet. I'll definitely keep you posted, and as soon as they hatch, I will let you know.